Hey there and welcome. Thank you for coming. If this is your first time, I hope you enjoy this. My name is Tammy and I'm with Country Girls Tumblers. Please give me a thumbs up, like, share, and consider subscribing for future videos. Hey everyone. So this is the water bottle that we will be working on. In today's episode, this is my version of a 3D busted brick wall. <clears throat> and we're going to use a couple of different techniques with this. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to prep our item. And by prep, I mean we need to sand it, wipe it down with 91% <clears throat> rubbing alcohol. And then we're going to spray paint it. Um, whatever color of your choice for me and the glitter that I'm using today on this project I needed a dark background so that was the reason for the black and here we're just putting on Aline's stick and restick also formally known as tack it over and over so I'm just putting it on a real thick coat. Um, it'll take about 20 minutes for this to dry. But with this being on a dark background, you'll be able to see when it is actually dried because it's going to dry clear. And you'll also see a... Um, a bright sheen from the uh, from the glue where it's dried <clears throat> and once we get this dried we're gonna start going in with our glitter and the glitter that I chose to use on this today is a Mr. Nola's glitter and it's Kilwins K-I-L-W-I-N-S and uh, I wrote on there to put on black paint because that's what makes this particular glitter work. Um, now, as you can see, I'm putting it on and it's a really pretty, um, like a pastel pink. But you'll see a little later as we start putting this on and burnishing it down into that glue, it's actually going to change color. And I thought it was cool for this project to use this. Um, so I'm just filling in some of the space that I did not put the glitter on with what fell off. And we're just going to burnish this into that glue. And as you'll be able to see, it's it's actually changing. I say changing color. It um, is changing from that pink to like a blue green. It, it's got a lot of green in it, but it's also got a little bit of a blue shift depending upon how the light hits it. So once we get this on, we are going to spray paint it uh, either a clear coat or we will be putting whatever you want to put on it. Me, I chose a glow in the dark for this part. And at night, whenever I get thir thirsty in the middle of the night, at least I can see where my cup is and I'm not spilling um, or knocking everything over on my nightstand. Once we've got this spray painted and it's dried, we're going to go in and I am going to use, uh, this is Literally and Rose Quick Cure Epoxy. And this is also her scale. This is a one-to-one -one ratio by weight. It's not your standard measurement. Um, so you want to be you want to make sure you're able to weigh this out and I used about five grams total um, now this is a 16 ounce 
water bottle. So I used about five grams. Uh, you want to make sure you definitely have something over that glitter to where this next step is not going to pull up your glitter off of your base. So here I am mixing the epoxy. I mix it for about 30 seconds and I've got about a five minute work time with it with this epoxy um, and total time from mixing to cured you've got about 15 minutes so I'm just making sure I have a good coat on here and you'll see I'll go to the lid here in just a second and by the time I get to the lid it's actually starting to cure up to where I will not be able to work with it um, very much longer uh, so beware if you use if you choose to go get some of this uh, epoxy from Little Lee and Rose make sure you're ready 100% before you mix this epoxy or you're gonna it's gonna mess up on you now this is an arm for my turner and in order for me to get this water bottle to stick on there I had to use uh, some tape around the arm of my turner and I just used uh, a yellow painters tape and wrapped it about 20 or 30 times around that arm to fill in the gap so it wouldn't fall off the arm and you can see right here is where the epoxy is too hard to continue to work with it and after we get the epoxy cured we are going to go in with our tape now what I'm using here is just a regular electrical tape And we'll use that to put around our bottle. Now, with the size and everything of this bottle being that it's a 16 ounce water bottle, with my tape, I am spacing it out about a little less than a quarter of an inch between each piece of tape. And that's top, bottom and the sides so you want to leave a gap since we're doing a brick wall theme um, you want to stagger each one of the each row of tape that you're going to put down you want to stagger it So here we are, we're just um, filling in that little bit of area on the lid. And once we go into our rows on our item here, every other row, so the first, the third, the fifth, the seventh, the ninth rows are the third through whatever row you end with all odd rows are going to match up with this first row here all the even number rows so four through whatever is going to match up with row number two And you want to make sure they're staggered off the center. And once you get all of that tape on, we're going to go outside and we're going to spray paint it white. So this, what this white is going to do is it's going to fill in those voids 
and look like the concrete that holds together the bricks. Now once we've got that spray painted and it is cure or dried um, and what all this was was a rust-oleum two times um, glossy white I believe was the paint. You're just going to go through and you're going to start removing all those little pieces of tape. And to me, this is part of the most satisfying part of this whole process. The tweezers that I'm using here is also from Little Lee and Rose. She has a super fine tip tweezer. And it works really well with intricate items um, or projects that you're working with. I have made myself bleed just off of the tip of it. So here you see we're just about finished with all that. And then we're going to put another clear coat. And this is just um, a satin black. We sprayed an area so that this sticker right here could stand out. And what this says is it's a uh, today's mood cranky with a touch of psycho. We're going to go in and we're going to use air dry clay. And we're just going to squeeze the clay into um, little rectangles to make a brick. And we'll start placing, placing that around this black area that we spray painted. So that's going to add the depth uh, looking into like a, a, a black hole behind the bricks as the bricks is busting open to reveal that little sticker that we placed down. You see, I want, wanted this piece here, but it is way too big, so I cut it down. And now that we've got our bricks, if you will, all made out, we need to let these dry for three days. Um, so you need at least 72 hours of air drying with these. And I just put them on a, um, on a little rack. That way air could get all the way around them. So it was like a little rack out of a air fryer or something that I just put these on and um, let them air dry. Once they air dried, we went in with our black paint and we uh, we painted that painted the bricks black. Once that was dried, what we did is we also went in with our Allen's tacket over and over and allowed that glue to dry before putting on another layer of glitter. And we're just going to use the same glitter that we used on the cup and make sure we burnish that in really well. Now that we have got uh, this glitter and we're starting to burnish it in now that this, uh, now that we've got this together and we're starting to burnish it in, make sure you get all that glitter around on each piece of these bricks. Once, once we make sure that we have this glitter on, we're going to go in with uh, just some UV resin. And we're going to make sure that we get 
these bricks coated really well with the UV resin because this is going to help ensure that moisture later does not get onto these bricks um, because it will start to deteriorate the bricks once the water from whenever you wash your tumbler or your water bottle or whatever you're doing uh, once that water gets to this air dry clay it'll start to break down so that's the reason why we're using this UV resin and we're just going to make sure we get it good on all sides of this resin uh, on these bricks just to make sure that they're good solid and secured so once we've done that we're going to go in with our E6000 glue and this is great for working with this type of project if you use rhinestones you're, you can use it for your rhinestone art um, but what we're going to do is we're going to use this to adhere these bricks to our tumbler or in this case our water bottle and I put it on two different ways um, some of them I put the glue directly onto this water bottle some I put it on the back of the brick it doesn't really matter however you want to put it on to make sure that it's adhered good to this tumbler I'm sorry usually I, I usually work with tumblers um, I don't really do that much with the water bottles and everything but uh, or, or different shapes of the water bottles I have but to me it's just a lot more time consuming um, than just a straight tumbler so in, in my eyes everything is a tumbler and I apologize for that but these white areas around on this black you'll you can see that because that's where we laid our clay out uh, as we was making our bricks to make sure that it looked it was that it was working well with the design and also it allows me to see which which brick goes where as we're placing these down with the glue and then once we've got all of our bricks where we want them I'm actually I'm recording one but I did this three times so this is amazing quick cure from Walmart and I mixed it up one to one and I did about 25 milliliters um, per pour and I'm just making sure I get a good thick coat of this epoxy it takes about six hours to cure um, which was fine for me um, but you want to make sure you get a good coat all the way around this to help seal all this in torch it pop all those bubbles and just let it turn um, and like I said I did about three coats to make sure everything was completely cured on this and that everything was covered and this is what the results is so if you like this video uh, please give me a thumbs up like share subscribe if you'd like uh, it would mean a lot to me um, I hope to have a, another video out pretty soon so I uh, look forward to seeing you if you have any questions drop me a comment below thanks and have a good day